What's up guys, Houndish here, and today Zer has returned to Destiny 2 for the weekend of the 9th of September. We can see he's right here in the tower, chilling out in the tower hangar up on the uh, platform here, and fairly easy to find. So, let's chill with our friends and see what Zer has this week. Without further delay, for the weapon, we have got the Colony. If it's one you've never used, definitely worth picking up if you can. A lot of fun right there. For the uh, exotic armor though, we've got Grizzin Vest, total stat roll of 63 Leaning towards resilience and intellect. And we've got an insurmountable skull fort uh, for titans. Total stat roll of 61. Uh, leaning towards resilience and strength. And then the skull of Dyer Ahamkara for warlocks. That one's a stat roll of 61 overall. Mainly with resilience and strength right there. Nothing crazy crazy. But let us know if you're going to pick any up. For the legendary weapons though. We've got the Chrysura Mellow auto rifle right here from Season of the Lost. Fourth times the charm. And dragonfly in a high impact frame. Actually not a bad roll right there. We've got the GN7 rifle with full auto trigger system and Outlaw. So if you want to full auto one of them for PvP, I mean, kind of a wasted perk uh, with the mod we have at the minute. But nonetheless, we've got Farewell as well, this sidearm here with moving target and multi-kill clip. And then we have the empty vessel grenade launcher, uh, blinding grenades, underdog and multi-kill clip. As well as first in, last out, this one has auto loading holster and eye of the storm. And then Temptation's hook uh, has relentless strikes and surrounded. Could be a pretty fun one. Also gnawing hunger right here with Zen Moment and Demolitionist. Pretty good auto rifle and uh, a fairly good roll right there. I remember using this weapon a lot back in the Forsaken era. I think it dropped with Gambit. Uh, so, oh no, actually it was the Reckoning. I'm getting sidetracked, but nonetheless, pretty good one if you want to pick it up. For the Legendary Armor though, we've got the Righteous set uh, right here. Um, of course we're on the Titan, but be sure to check in on your various characters if you're after good stat rolls and things like that. But on the other tab for the exotic weapons, we've got Hawkmoon with Eye of the Storm and Deadman's Tail with Outlaw. So let us know if any of those look appealing this week, guys. In terms of D1, if you're collecting and you want to hunt him down, he's got Bones of Ao, the Heart of Praxic Fire, a Legacy Chest Engram, and then Mark 44 Standicides, as well as Universal Remotes. So you can hunt him down if you want to. But otherwise, that does it for the video today. So as always, I hope it's been useful and enjoyable. If it has, a rating below really does help us out on the channel. But otherwise, guys, I hope you have an awesome weekend.